Today, students, we are learning part four of chapter three for standard six, diversity in living things and their classification. So come along, let's read, understand, and enjoy it. This video was made just for you. Do remember to like, share, and subscribe. Now look at this picture. Now can you tell? Have you seen vines like the pumpkin, the railroad creeper, kaveli, watermelon, or the grape vine? Now, how do they they grow? Look at the picture very carefully again. So, how do they grow? The stems of such plants either creep or they climb. So, therefore, they are called creepers or climbers. And the stems of these plants are very very soft, and they take the support of other plants or other uh, uh, other other uh, other stick or anything like that so they are called vines and some vines need vertical support for growing that is they need some standing support so that is called the vertical support for growing while others spread on the ground so those that spread uh, go above the ground are called climbers and whereas some of the stems will creep on the ground so such uh, plants are called the creepers now climbers like the money plant have aerial roots so as they climb the roots grow from the stems and they take the support now have you seen the cucumber tendrils that look like a spring so cucumber plant and other plants like this they give out small spring like things so those are the stems which are called tendrils now these tendrils will try to move in the direction of some support and then they will wind it that is they will go around that and that is how the plant will get the support because the stems of these plants are very very soft very will support the rest of the plant on its own so therefore they will spread out in such a way that they will get support somewhere so such climbers have these tendrils now of what use could they be touch the stems of any vines what do you feel now the stem of a creeper is very flexible it's very soft and it's green and it grows rapidly that is it grows very fast with the help of a support so these are called the climbers whereas in the creepers they will creep on the ground normally creepers have very big fruits like the watermelon the pumpkin etc now can you tell for how many years do crops like bajra wheat corn radish marigold and other crops live have you thought about it the farmers that grow all our crops how long does the farmer take to grow a particular crop or how long does this crop live so think about it now the life cycle that is how long this plants live the life cycle of the plants like all these crops jowar sunflower bajra etc is completed within one year so within one year they live and they die so these plants are called annuals whereas the life cycle of plants like the carrot and the beet root is of 2 years so therefore they are called biennials so one year within one year they are called annuals and if they live for 2 years it they are called biennial plants now shrubs like the hibiscus and the oleander and trees like mango and gulmohar live for several years and they bear fruits and flowers for many many years so therefore they are called perennials as they live for many years now therefore now we have learned a new way of classifying based on how long they live so according to the period of their life cycle plants are cl classified as annuals biennials and perennials now can you tell to which part of plants are butterflies and other insects attracted look at the picture very carefully so what do you think which part of the plant do the butterflies and the insects get attracted to they get attracted to the different flowers now flowers are of various colors shapes sizes and fragrance so the insects get attracted to it so such plants that give out flowers are called flowering plants while there are plants that never bear flowers and they are called non flowering plants so non flowering plants may 
not have organs like the roots the stems and the leaves so it is not that all plants will not have it some plants may not have leaves some plants may not have stems some plants may not have roots also so or leaves also so such plants are called non flowering plants now use your brain power look at these two pictures what type of plants are the toadstool that is the first picture here and what type of plants are the mushrooms think about it what type of plants are the fig do ferns algae and money plant bear flowers to know the answers visit our website at www.jkacademypro.com now did you know that the world's largest flower is found in indonesia the diameter of this flower or that is it is called the rafflesia arnoldi is about 1 meter so it is a very very big very big flower so 1 meter means 100 cm and the world's smallest flower is of the plant called wolfia or the duckweed you can see that in the second picture a person is showing it on the tip of the finger so you can see how tiny it is so its diameter is as small as 0.5 mm so very very tiny so this is uh, the enlarged picture of the tip of the finger so you can imagine so tiny they are now can you tell where does a pomegranate shrub grow where does a lotus grow where do bulrushes and the railroad creeper grow where does the dodder plant grow so find your answers and to check your answers you can visit our website at jkacademypro.com you'll get the link in the description box below use your brain power why does the water hyacinth float on water so it is able to float in the water because its roots are not attached to the ground the roots float so therefore even the plant as a whole can float in the water as these plants grow in the water now why is the stem of the cactus fleshy now we all know that the cactus grows in desert regions and because the there is lack of water in the desert region so these plants that is a cactus plants the stem they store the food that is why they are very very fleshy now what different criteria are used to classify plants now we learned about the different ways of classifying the plants go to go to the lesson and you'll get your answer to check your answer you can visit our website at jkacademypro.com you'll get the link in the description box below this is end of part 4 For a complete lesson do watch all the other parts solve this exercise given to you in your textbook to check your answers for these textual exercises and for more free worksheets please visit our website at www.jkacademypro.com thank you